Hey everybody, it is time for, oh my God, it's fucking bright out here. So it has been a minute since we had checked in with the boys and gotten some progress updates on their uh, on their cars. Let's go over to the boys' house and uh, see what they uh, see what they've been working on. outside oh, that's what dirty ass right. would you guys push it out here no it, i drove it drove, drove it? it i drove it start that shit up you got it you got it running and then it was just fine you got an injector and now it's all fine okay i'm gonna start it start it up man let's piss off some neighbors Fuck yeah. pump it twice and then hold it half to the floor yeah. <laughs> oh shit Son. Oh, shit, that was like giving it gas and I guess it got to like two grand and it started like like taking off like that. It's probably because there ain't nothing in it. It weighs probably 500 pounds less without all the glass and interior and hood. <laughs> This is the bad injector. That I that I can't find. That was right here. Oh, here it is. This is this is the bad injector that we <laughs> replaced. <laughs> the gas that was in there has been the gas that was in there since I got it since before the other guy. So I bought it. It's been parked for what two three years. Yeah. And then the guy who owned that before me, it was parked for four or five years on top of that. And then the other guy that owned it before that Jesus. parked it too. So it's been parked. That's uh, the gas was. When you go to Sunoco and put some 110 in that. I told him to, but he don't want to. Well, eventually, eventually I will. This, this is the way it came out. Yeah, that's the way. If you, if this was smell a vision Smell you it. Can, you can smell it, and then you can smell it. See what, yeah, see what it feels. <laughs> well, an update for my dad. I got some snowflakes, uh, 15 by 8 uh, RML, so uh, retro water mines from 1552. And I got this now. I got a smaller pulley. Hopefully with this is going to be 18 pounds of boost. You can see the difference with this one. This one's a 2.6. Look how small this is. And the one in the car I have is a 2.4. Wow. So, yeah, that's the new thing for my car. More boost and I'm not going to do anything more to it. It says every once in a while just switch up wheels. You got enough of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And over here. <laughs> Another set over here. Oh, and the one that my former got in his car, the 17s. <laughs> well, five sets of, you got five sets of wheels for that thing? Yeah. Oh no, it stopped running. What are you working on? Fan server kicked on. Yeah. I'll be great for that. Was that bad fuse? Yeah. See, I put a, a 10 where there's supposed to be a 30. Yeah. Basically, what I did was I just filled all the spots yeah. in the beginning. I just took random relay fuses and put them in their spots. I should have looked at which one goes for which. You probably should have. Most of them are 30s anyways, so. <laughs> I just didn't, I couldn't find a 30 at the time, so. Got the fans working? Yeah. You gonna let me drive it? One day. <laughs> yeah. We gotta bring your car in anyway. Ryan's showing up with some supplies. Crystals and some fucking Mick Ultras. Burgers, burgers and cheese balls. Give me one of these bitches. The cheese. And baking it with the bread. 
It's like a cheese bread. Overheating issues? Oh, yeah. We just can't get away from that, can you? No, it don't matter what car it is. Take this out. Oh, take, right. take this, this out. Well, help him out. Oh, no, he's got it. An LT. It's just like an LT, but it's a V6. <laughs> Doing a video he's now. Like, oh, I have no problem being in the video. He's like, hey, we have that already, bro. You gotta sign a waiver, that's all. Oh, all right. Hey, hey, cool. Death yeah. or dismemberment waiver. Oh, fuck that. If you die, it's not our fault. But, well, can we catch it on video, please? <laughs> <laughs> now you're in trouble, Ryan. You got Victor working on it. And now we gotta do everything the right way. You got it, man. You got it. Okay, now take that shit. Holy shit! <coughs> you need to go get a fucking dry belt like today. Really? Yeah, this belt's like totally, totally bad. Like, like, like destroyed. Look at this hair. I think this shit will last another five years. Yeah, because you're only back there. We gotta call Randy and see if he's got one of these belts. Always good for it. Have George call. <laughs> so you don't, you don't have it. You know. Letting us down on your last day, Andy. Can you give us the part number? Oh, you don't have nothing in the back that matches. Yo, I bet you Autos don't got that shit. There's no, there's no PK. There's no, there's no, no, you don't have it. Like, no, nobody has it in stock. Remember, I have the same shit happened with the radiator. <laughs> These things are not supposed to be going bad in your truck, man. You kept on fucking. All the radiator cars. ain't supposed to go bad either. Look where we're at. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, the fuck, man. I'm trying to stay clean 60, today. I'm fucking 40, bro. I wore my gray shirt. Oh man, I fucked up. I didn't expect to be working on anything today. I should know better. Why the fuck are we working on a Chevy on the channel? No, 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 there's All right, let's wrap this video up with an update on my cars. So I ended up getting some new wheels. I put the new Z3 steering rack in. Turning ratio is way tighter now. Went from 3.9 turns to 2.7 turns. I almost drove it in a fucking ditch when I took it for a test drive. I couldn't believe it. Did the Turner chip in it. Turner chip really kind of brought it to life. I was surprised how much, uh, how much difference that made. So uh, that was a real good Real good investment there. I'm still trying to come up with a name for the E30 as well. So if you guys got any ideas, drop it in the comments. I'm kind of leaning towards Night Rider. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to tell you about the E30. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to tell you about this. Hold on. I don't have a horn because it's quick release steering wheel. So obviously, <laughs> Take off the steering wheel. Or ain't going to work. You have to plug it in. You know the deal. So, went on Amazon. Picked up one of these little guys here. Ha ha! Oh, I'm going to get into trouble with this one. <laughs> I need a horn, though. And there it is. On to the Mark II. All right, Plain Jane's been sitting here. Basically, just um, staying undercover. You can see the grass growing up around it. But yeah, just been sitting here waiting for me to get to working on it. I did a few things to it, so let me get it uncovered and I'll kind of show you. So, hold on. fucking street racers all right so let's take a look all right she's all uncovered let's take a look you know i really didn't think there was much to uh update on this one but i totally forgot i, I, I did a bunch of stuff so um i cleaned the carpet real well it was uh, i don't know how dirty it was but it was all out so i went ahead and cleaned it I threw the seats in here. You know, when I moved, I, I didn't have a whole lot of room, like no shed. I have a garage, but I have a lot of room in it. So I had to kind of just put a lot of this stuff in. So I mad dashed, did the carpet, got the seat setting in the back. Got some stuff here I need to put in, my fuel line and my battery cable. The battery's going in the back. So it's just some, uh, this here is just some parts that I'll be using soon. This is the mega squirt harness here. I'll have to run that. So the lighting harness will be coming to the frame rail here, and then all this stuff is just gonna tuck in behind the bumper and come up for the side of the headlight right there. 
Now the mega squirt harness has actually come through this frame rail right here. So I'll have very little wire showing. Uh, so it should be real nice wire tuck. And these damn lines that I made, rusting. I couldn't believe that. Some sort of copper alloy. And I'm like, a couple months later, they're all rusting. So great news. I got to put new lines on there now. The mega squirt's going to bolt here. And then you can see the hole that I cut in the floorboard. It's the same as on the other side. Just can't see because of the carpet. And that's where the harness is going to go through the frame rail. Straight through there. And then the standalone will bolt to these two right here, here and here. And then I got the digital dash. I don't know if you guys seen that yet or not. I know I showed you the, the standalone. I don't know if I showed you the digital dash. Got the digital dash. I'm going to run that in here. It's going to run straight off the standalone. I got my Vegas dice hanging. So, oh, and I picked up this cool little yeah, Euro console. So I'm not going to have anything here either. So it'll be a good spot for maybe I'll put my fire extinguisher or something. In the back, just got some stuff here. There's my battery tray. So I'm going to run the battery back here. And uh, I got some of these pieces in. They look pretty nice too. I think they're supposed to be black. I don't know. Maybe I'll pull them back out and uh, spray them black because they look really gray. But you know what? I really don't give a shit. So I might just leave it. It's a race car, right? My cool eBay tail lights. They're chipping and cracked. That's what I get. That's what I get for buying eBay. I don't care. I'm going to buy eBay again. That is it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And um, we'll see you in the next one.